right, what is up guys? Simon from BurnieBiz.com. And if you watch our last video, I was telling you that <clears throat> in this video, we're gonna do a tutorial. And what we're gonna do today, we're gonna look at this RFID RC522 module, uh, which actually comes with an ID, a little tag like this and an RFID card. Uh, now, if you're not familiar with RFID, uh, basically the way these guys work is that inside the tag here, there's a little IC and it contains some uh, coded information. And there's also a receiver antenna in here. And this guy has an antenna and when they get close together, it actually energizes the uh, little tag here so the IC can transmit the information to the receiver antenna here. Uh, what's great about these guys is that they don't need batteries as long as the antenna here is providing a magnetic field that will energize the tag inside. So these are very uh, <clears throat> these are very cheap to buy because it's just a piece of plastic with uh, an IC in it and there's no batteries to replace. So technically these guys should work for a very long time. And as long as you have an antenna like this to energize the coil that's inside, they will work. Uh, so the way I did this tutorial today, I wanted to make something that just reads the serial number of the tag or the card, compares it to what I have inside the code, and if it's correct, then these LEDs will light green, and if it's the wrong tag, it will light uh, red. Also, I put a little buzzer here that will sound a different tone if it's right or wrong. So let me switch. So that's it for today. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go look at the code that makes it all work, and then we'll come back, plug it in, and see what happens. So let's go check that out. All right, so here we are in the code that we're gonna use today. I'm gonna try to go as fast as I can through this. Um, I made the code as simple as I could uh, because this could be more in-depth. You can read more information on the card. There's encryption and all that stuff, but I didn't, I didn't really need that stuff. So basically I wrote something that was uh, simple just to get started with these modules. Uh, so including two libraries at the beginning, as you can see, the fast LED to light up the LEDs and the RC522 library, which was created by these guys here. And you can get more information about their library right here. So we include all the libraries we need at the beginning, including SPI, because this module uses SPI communication. And this is the uh, pins that the uh, WS2812 RGB stick is connected to, the number of LEDs on it, and we initialize the library. These are the pins connected to the, um, uh, the little module, and the buzzer is connected to pin three. The plus pin is connected to pin three on the buzzer, and the other one is connected to ground. Here are some variables we're gonna use, found tag, read tag, the tag data, the tag serial number, and the good tag serial number. The good tag serial number is the number we're looking for, and the tag serial number is what will be read from the card. So it's an array of five. I could have put this to four actually, and it would still have worked, I put it five, but I'm only using the first four. Uh, so basically what we're doing, we're reading the four bytes of information, uh, the four first information on the cards or the tag, uh, and then we're comparing it to the one we're looking for here. And we'll see that at the bottom here. Uh, then we initialize the library, and then we have our main setup. So the, the buzzer is an output. We put it to low at the beginning so it doesn't sound right away. And we start the SPI and the serial monitor because we're gonna use that to display the information about the tag or the card. And then we have fast LED stuff here. We did a couple of tutorials already on the fast LED, so you can check uh, one of them out right here, and uh, I explain a little bit more in depth on how it works. So let's continue. We got the uh, serial print on the serial monitor looking for our RFID reader, so it's gonna start to look for an RFID, and it's gonna, put that, it's gonna check for the firmware version. Now, if it can't find one, it's just gonna keep going like this until it finds one. When it finds one, then it's gonna print the firmware version that's on the module itself. And then we have our main loop. So we start up by lighting all the LEDs blue, set the brightness, show them, and we put good tag equal to false. And that variable is gonna be used to uh, see if we found the correct tag or not, or if we read the correct tag or not, or card. Uh, so we check if a tag was detected, if it is, then we do a little delay here, and we get anti-collision value to properly read information from the tag. This is needed to actually extract information from the tag or card, so that's what this does here. And it reads the four, like I said, the beginning of the card, and we're gonna use that as the serial number of the card or tag. So if it is read, a tag is detected, 
the serial number, it's going to print it out by doing a little loop here. So we'll see that on the serial monitor. And now here we check if the tag has the right serial number we're looking for. It's another loop. So we're checking the, the, um, the first uh, value of, of the array of each one. And if they don't match, then we break out. If they do match, and i is equal to 3, at, the first it's not, at first it's not going to be because it goes from 0 to 3. So 0, 1, 2, 3. So if it goes through all of these, that means equal to 3. That means a good tag is equal to true because it checked each one at a time. And they were not not equal. So that's, what, that's the way this works, to check. Now if it's true, we light all of them green. We sound the buzzer a certain way. And if they're not equal, then we put all the LED red and sound the buzzer another way. Whoops, let me move this back. There we go. And that's it. That's the way I did it. This is very basic, uh, but basically gets you going to read tags and do an action when you're actually finding the right one. And that's basically all I wanted. Let's say you want to do a door lock mechanism or a switch on a relay. Uh, then that's all that's needed. Basically, you read a tag, and if it corresponds to the value you entered here, then that's the right tag, so you do an action. In our case, we're lighting up LEDs and sounding a buzzer. So let's go back to the test bench and plug it in and read some tags. All right, so welcome back, guys. Uh, so we just looked at the code, and we just uploaded the code to the Uno right here, and I'm powering it up, so it did its starts procedure, and now it's showing all LEDs here are blue, uh, waiting for uh, a tag or a card. Uh, so you're going to be able to see in the window there on the serial monitor what happens, so it's going to display the serial number uh, that it reads, and it's going to say success or failure. So let's start with a failure first, so we'll take this card, and we'll read it with the uh, little RFID here. So we'll just move it around. And there we go, read it. And it says tag not accepted. And it displays a serial number that's on this card right here, which is the first four uh, bytes of information on the card. So now we're going to take the uh, little blue tag and do the same thing. So go over. And there we go, green light. And tag detected serial number. 95, AB, whoop, let me move the cursor a little bit here. And there we are. So let me do it again, really quick. Tag not accepted. I, I'm, uh, I see that the card has a little bit more height. I don't know if the uh, coil antenna is a little bit bigger on a card. So when I get to about, yeah, I would say 10, 15 centimeters, it reads it. Now if I take the tag, it's a smaller antenna. So going down. So you'll, well, you'll see, about 10, 10 centimeters for this one. But still good enough to go through, uh, uh, you know, a little bit of plastic or stuff like that. So let's say I take uh, this pad here of a notepad, cover the antenna like this, then take the card, and it still reads it. And the tag also. <clears throat> now, of course, if you put metal, then, you know, it probably wouldn't work because it's a magnetic field. So there you go, guys. That's the way this works. I hope uh, this helps anyone that wants to try and experiment with these little module. Uh, the code I did was a little bit simple. I wanted something that just read the uh, beginning information on the cards. Uh, but of course, these cards contain more information than that. Uh, so I think it's about 1K of information that's on here. Uh, but we're just reading the, four at, uh, the, four, the beginning to actually uh, make sure that uh, we're detecting the right serial number. So that's it. So let's go back to the main camera and wrap it up. All right, so there you go, guys. Uh, that was a quick tutorial on how to use the RFID uh, RC522 module. Uh, I hope this is helpful. Um, what we did today, we light up some LEDs and sounded the buzzer in a different way, depending if we detected a right RFID or a wrong one. And uh, now the possibilities are endless. Basically, when you detect something, if you use the code that we wrote, uh, then you do an action. It could be a start a motor, uh, turn on a relay, or anything else you can think of. So uh, hopefully this will help you guys to get started with RFID uh, projects. And like I always say, guys, um, we do all the projects here with parts that we sell on our web store at brainybits.com. So if you come to our store and buy a part from us, uh, like I always say, it helps us a lot. And also, if you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do. Uh, we try to make uh, videos for you guys as much as we can. 
And uh, also we're going to have uh, product reviews coming up uh, uh, this week. Uh, we're going to have a re review of the HTC Vive that I bought with my own money. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. And uh, if it sucks, it sucks. If it's great, it's great. Uh, so I'm going to let you guys know what exactly I think about it. And also we have the, uh, this guy here, the Arduino 101 board uh, that I'll check out also for you guys. So stay tuned for those two reviews. Uh, we're going to have another tutorial that was inspired by a comment that was left in the uh, YouTube comments. Uh, so I'll try to do that also this week. So we're going to start uh, making a lot of videos for you guys. So like I would say, leave comments below if you have any suggestions for future tutorials. So that's it for today, guys. So until next time, my name is Ivan, and I hope to catch you guys real soon. Take care.